Hey there everyone, this is Jasmine from Jazz Draws Art and today I thought I'd show you a little bit about how I draw eyes or how to draw eyes in general. So here you're going to see me just doing a little bit of work where I'm just sketching out like what I'm going to do. You want to get this generic shape, I'm just figuring out where things go and so that's just our small thumbnail example for now. So you want to start with an almond shape or an oval shape. Those are your best friends when making an eye. You also want to have that little triangle coming off the edge. That's your water duct line, I think. Anyway, so you want to start with that. Um, one of the things a lot of people miss when they're drawing eyes is that they actually miss the inner lid of the bottom lid. They don't show the piece where it actually seals. They just draw a flat line. Well, to make it a little more three-dimensional, you just add that line. See how I'm drawing all the lashes really straight and close together or way too far apart like that? You don't want to do that. You want to actually try and swoop from underneath to show the growth, how it actually grows from under your, um, the inside of your lid, and then it goes out. So here, I'm just trying to make sure I get all the basic shapes down, put things where I want them. Again, it's just a rough sketch at this point, so don't worry too much about it because if you decide to paint it, then it will get better because then you can just change it by shaping it with the shading and that's different. If you want to do just line work, then I would suggest you work a little bit harder on doing that part. When drawing eyes, it's always important to remember that the pupils are not pure black, they're actually you can either use like a deep uh, blue or you can use an off color that's just slightly off black. It makes it look more three-dimensional and not as flat as a drawing. So when you're drawing eyes, you definitely want to use a reference if you want it to look more realistic. You can stylize any way you'd like and as long as you understand the basic principles of where things line up and where they go, then you can draw eyes in any way, shape, or form that you like. Here I'm laying out um, the colors that I want. It's a little bit flat and saturated, um, unsaturated, saturated I mean, but I will clean it up later. So I'm just putting in where my shadows are, my highlights and basic iris lines. And then the white of the eye is actually not white at all. It's usually either a closer skin tone color, like more of a fleshy but creamy white, or a bluish gray, and it's up to you to see what you want to use. Usually if you have a warmer colored eye, you might want to contrast it with the cool color or to make it all look one piece. Make it a little bit warmer, like more of a red side of gray, rather than the cool side, which is more bluey green. Um, if you are using your reference picture, it is okay to select colors from the picture, especially if you're learning. It's not stealing because you're actually drawing the eye yourself, you're not tracing it. So you're fine to just use the colors from that. And then, of course, add your own colors as well to help give the piece a little bit more of a pop and not just a generic skin tone look because when you select color by color, unless you paint in every detail of every different color that's going to happen on the page, you can just use the flat colors and then blend with different ones that you think would add. So here I added, I made it more of a orange color first and then I'll go back and add in different colors later. So it gives it more of a vibrant warm tone. It's important to remember that the eye is round. So the lid, where it, co uh, where it goes to the crease, it actually gets darker. Of course, that's the darkest point for a line. It looks like an actual line on the face. You gotta make sure you blend it out though. But you also gotta remember that the underside of your eye is also rounded. So it's not like completely flat. So you wanna try and make it like more shaded underneath it, like sphere a little bit. So it shows that it's actually rounding out in your face, not just sinking into your skull. Often with drawing female eyes, it, you can get away with it a little bit more where you can just keep adding more of a lash line and more of a lash line 
help even out if it looks like your eye is uneven. One of the biggest things is that if you want to make an eye look more realistic, you do not want the iris to be too big or too small because that can throw off the whole realism aspect. So usually I draw them too big and so I have to scale it down more than you'd think. And so you, you especially with digital, you can just rescale it, select it and rescale it. For the little lines I did for the highlights of the eye, I actually just made little V shapes or just did like quick little lines and I use it on a lower opacity brush because if you make it too sharp then it's going to look like it's just scratches all over the eye and you don't want that. Closer to the inner corner of the eye, especially at the bottom, you don't really want to see lines so it's better if you try and lightly erase some of those lines but leave the ones to the outer corner because that leads to where more shadows are. The inner corner, you technically should leave a little bit lighter because the lines don't aren't as defined. And most people for makeup especially will make it lighter there so it brightens up the eye. If you think you made the ring on the outside of the iris too dark or too thick, you can go back with the lighter color and try and even it out, or you can try and erase around it a little bit. It's all up to you. If you like that look, you can leave it. It's fine. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial as this is my first time, and I'll see you next time.